Ubuntu 25.04 versus Kubuntu 25.04 On April 17th 2025 Canonical released Ubuntu 25.04 code name Plucky Puffin and the Kubuntu project simultaneously unveiled Kubuntu 25.04 Plucky Puffin each supported for 9 months and built on the Linux kernel 6.14 Ubuntu focuses on delivering the latest GNOME 48 desktop with performance and usability enhancements, a modern PDF reader, streamlined installer, and a suite of dev packs for popular development frameworks. Kubuntu, on the other hand, highlights KDE Plasma 6.3 and KDE Gear 24.12.3, a polished day-to-day -day application set, and a default Plasma Wayland session with Qt 6.8.3 and KDE Frameworks 6.12.0. Now let's talk about the Ubuntu 25.04 highlights. First, Desktop and User Experience Enhancements. Ubuntu 25.04 ships with the GNOME 48, featuring triple buffering for smoother graphics, rendering and out-of-the-box HDR support. New GNOME settings include a well-being panel, for screen time insights and a preserved battery health mode to extend laptop battery lifespan. Papers, a modern high performance PDF reader, replaces the old viewer as the default document application. Now let's talk about the core system and developer tooling. Built on Linux kernel 6.14, Ubuntu 25.04 introduces a new eBPF based scheduling system and the NT-Sync C driver to improve Wine and Proton gaming performance. This release decouples BPF tools and Linux perf from the kernel, simplifying container tooling and dependencies management. Developers focused dev packs now delivers the latest Spring ecosystem, Go toolchain, and updated bundles for Python, Rust, .NET, LLVM, and OpenJDK via Snap. Now let's talk about the installer implements and support lifecycle. The Ubuntu installer now offers smoother dual boot setup alongside other operating systems with better bitlocker detection and advanced partitioning options. As an interim release, Ubuntu 25.04 will receive maintenance updates for 9 months, ensuring a balance between cutting-edge features and security support. Now let's talk about the Kubuntu 25.04 highlights. Let's first talk about the KDE Plasma and session management. Kubuntu 25.04 features KDE Plasma 6.3 alongside KDE Gear 24.12.3 delivering the latest Plasma refinements on a polished desktop. The default session is SWDM is now Plasma Valent offering smoother graphics and modern compositor features. An X11 session remains available. And the last used session type is remembered across logins. Now let's talk about the applications and frameworks. Core day-to-day -day applications such as Firefox via Snap and LibreOffice 25.2 are pre-installed and updated. With access to thousands more packages from the Ubuntu archive or Snap store, Kubuntu 25.04 ships with the Qt 6.8.3 and KDE Frameworks 6.12.0, while legacy Qt 5.15.15 and Frameworks 5.116.0 remain in the archive for compatibility. Now let's talk about the kernel and support lifecycle. Under the hood, Kubuntu 25.04 runs on Linux 6.14 inheriting the same performance and security improvements as Ubuntu, including enhanced gaming support via NT-Sync and flexible scheduling with STED underscore EXT. Like Ubuntu, Kubuntu 25.04 is an interim release supported for 9 months, aligning with Canonical's release cadence. So here is the head-to-head -head comparison. Aspect, Ubuntu 25.04 Plucky Puffin and Kubuntu 25.04 Plucky Puffin First, the desktop environment Ubuntu 
Gnome 48 with triple buffering, HDR support, and well being panel. Now, Kubuntu. KDE Plasma 6.3 with VLAN default. KDE Gear 24.12.3. Now, Ubuntu default apps. Papers for the PDF, Core GNOME apps. Now, Kubuntu. Firefox 137 Snap, LibreOffice 25.2, and KDE applications. Now Ubuntu kernel and core tools. Linux 6.14. SCAD EXT. NT Sync. Decoupled BTF tools and Linux perfs. Now Kubuntu. Linux 6.14 with all Ubuntu kernel enhancements. Now Ubuntu developer tooling. Snap dev packs for Spring. Go, Python, Rust, .NET, WLVM, OpenJDK. Now Kubuntu. Access to Snap Dev Packs plus KDE SDK and Qt tooling. Now Ubuntu installer and partitioning. Improved dual boot experience, BitLogger support, advanced partitioning. Now the Kubuntu. Standard installer with Ubuntu's backend implements. Now Ubuntu session protocol. GNOME on Wayland by default. Now Kubuntu. Plasma on Wayland by default, X11 optional and session memory. Now Ubuntu support duration, 9 months and for the Kubuntu, same 9 months. Now finally the conclusion. Ubuntu 25.04 Plucky Puffin is ideal if you want the freshest GNOME experience with deep developer integration, modern PDF tooling and cutting edge kernel features. Kubuntu 25.04 Plucky Puffin is the choice for users who prefer the flexibility and customization of KDE Plasma along with a robust set of day-to-day -day applications and the same under the hood performance boost. Both flavors share a unified support cycle and benefit from Canonical's commitment to open source innovation. Choose the one that best aligns with your workflow and desktop preferences. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Oh, <laughs>